Undercover agents and flex team officers from Gallatin make a significant arrest taking stolen guns, drugs, and fentanyl off area streets. Andy Cordan is here now to show us how this all went down in this Crime Tracker Alert. Andy. Well, Bob, on November 18th, Gallatin police arrest Terrence London. Now, the 31 year old, he's a frequent flyer for drugs and illegal weapons, and that's exactly what officers found. This is Gallatin body cam. As flex teams arrest Terrence London, a convicted federal felon, previously arrested in Nashville on stolen gun and drug charges. Gallatin police come to this apartment complex after London's girlfriend, Laren Owens, gives them a call to report that her 31 year old boyfriend, who has outstanding domestic violence warrants, is inside the apartment. While they were apprehending the subject, uh, they, they smelled a strong odor of uh, marijuana inside the apartment. Investigators get a search warrant and find all this. You're looking at two stolen handguns out of Nashville. Drug agents also find cocaine and a white substance that tests positive for fentanyl. And officers seize more than $7,000 in cash. Police show news to this picture. It's unclear when this was taken, but it's London's social media account, and it appears to show him holding a large amount of cash. And in uh, fact, flaunting it. Not everybody takes a, a selfie like that. No, he, he, you're right. He was flaunting it. When it's all said and done, both London and Owens are arrested on drug and stolen weapons charges. You don't know this guy's even in your city. She calls you and said, come get him. And when you get there, you find out she's allegedly involved in the same thing he's doing, and you take her to jail too? That's exactly right. Both of them went to jail. There's no doubt that she was in the uh, narcotic sales also. What do you say to people that would come to your city with all of that history for drugs, weapons, should have been in prison, flaunting it? What do you tell them? Well, obviously they're going to get caught. And tonight at 6, we dig deeper on this story, trying to find out why a man put in federal prison is out of jail and on area streets.